we are here to validate it and also try and uh, inform our membership, uh, the cooperative leaders, about the new SACO bill, uh, which is uh, now has gone through public participation and validated. And now we wanted to take them through to the final structure, which has been accepted by leaders. Uh, the cooperative bill uh, is a product of the national cooperative policy, which was passed by the cabinet in 2019. Uh, and pursuant to that uh, passing of the national cooperative policy, uh, the cabinet secretary for agriculture, livestock, fisheries, and cooperatives uh, uh, gazetted a task force to actually chart out an implementation roadmap for the national cooperative policy by preparing an appropriate bill, namely the cooperative bill. So the bill has already gone through public participation. Uh, it has had seven regional meetings and it has had a validation meeting. Uh, so today's meeting was actually intended to um, uh, capacity build, so to speak, uh, corporate leaders across the country who have also been involved in the process of public participation and validation of this bill to actually understand better uh, the contents of the bill, which will now then uh, go to uh, the National Assembly and eventually become the Cooperative Act. Yeah, as you are aware, the, the sector has been operating with uh, two main legislations. The principal one being the Cooperative Societies Act, CAP 490, and the SACO Societies Act, CAP 490B. And so the external environment has changed a lot. And more particularly, as you are aware, in 2010, we adopted the Constitution of Kenya 2010. And as a consequence, we have two levels of government. And through the constitution, cooperatives became a devolved function. So unfortunately, however, there wasn't uh, enough clarity as to what is the role of the national government and what is the role of. So this uh, bill has actually made uh, or delineated in very clear terms, but within the provisions of the constitution, uh, the roles that the national government will undertake which is largely around policy and legislation and also the roles that the county government will undertake. Of course, it has other progressive issues um, such as uh, issues of governance, issues of um, how other strategic interventions that, in, uh, in the, that may be needed to be undertaken in the sector such as value addition, agro-processing, uh, the inclusion of youth and women in the sector which are all embedded in the uh, national cooperative policy. One of the other key issues I want to mention is the issue of delegate system. We have been having quite a number of cooperative societies that have been running under delegates, and yet delegates is not, uh, it's nowhere in the cooperative act. And uh, in order to uh, address that issue, the bill has now incorporated delegate system as part of the, uh, the, the, the governing policies in cooperatives. But uh, as cooperatives also uh, have delegate system, they have to be aware that whenever they have to make some drastic decisions, especially on dissolution, merger of cooperatives, this agenda it must require the general membership to participate, not only the delegate system.